Hi everyone, and thanks for joining me again today. And today I'm going to be reviewing Magic's Music Maker 2022, in particular the free edition. I will leave a link in the description where to download. And as always, I have no affiliation with Magic. We're going to look at the differences between the free edition, the plus edition, and the premium edition, and what has changed since the last version. Now, I've been using Magic's Music Maker for quite some time as a creative medium, as an inspiration. And uh, probably the first premium edition that I actually purchased was back in 2015. Then I upgraded it to 2017 edition and then 2019 edition. And you can see the trend there. Every couple of years, I upgrade my premium uh, edition. But whether I'm going to update this year, I'm not sure yet because I have not actually purchased the premium edition. But at the same time, there are options where even when you are using the free edition, which we're going to look at today, there are options and features that you can just pay a sm small amount and have that added feature built in. And I have talked about this in my previous versions uh, of Magic's Music Maker in my videos. Those features do still exist. So I will leave a link in the description and possibly a card in the top right hand corner so you can click and find out how you can get those features added to expand your Music Maker free edition into more usable software. For me, Magic's Music Maker is a really a great inspirational tool to come up with some songs, melodies, not just for personally, but even for clients. And you can quickly wrap up uh, and create a small sim sample arrangement for the client that does not really know uh, how the song arrangement would be. It's a really great tool. Put in some drums, bass guitars, and some arrangements, and it gives you some idea. And quite often, that idea ends up being the actual song itself as a final result. And one thing that we're going to look at it today, even in the free edition of Music Maker, is the song maker and the beat maker called beatbox now the song maker existed only in the premium edition in the previous versions and the beatbox is a new feature as well we're going to look at now even though these features the music maker ai and the beatbox are limited but still can give you a base form to start with to create your song Let's have a look what the website says about the latest version of Music Maker 2022. Music Maker free, start download. That's easy to understand. These are all the features. The plus edition is 59 US dollars. You can buy it. Again, I'm not trying to sell you because I'm not affiliated with Magic. And the premium edition, a new purchase will cost you $99. And an upgrade from the previous version is $69.99 US. They say it's the number one music software for beginners. I have to agree with that because it got lots of features that even if you don't know nothing about music, just drag and drop or let the song maker AI help you decide to drag and drop all the loops it will help you to create the song. I have to agree with that. Of course, you can still add your own vocal or your own recording, whether electric guitar, acoustic guitar, whatever you want to record through a microphone is possible. And then you can go ahead and mix because it does come with built-in effects, whether uh, EQ, compression, delay, reverb, and it's all there. Of course, using sound loops, and you can combine multiple sound loops from your library to create whatever genre of music that your heart desires. Of course, connect the MIDI keyboard and you can also add virtual instruments into your music creation. As I mentioned, you can also use a microphone through your audio interface to record. And of course, you can take it to the next level by purchasing Plus or Premium to get even more functionality in the software. So in this video, we're going to look at how we can use the music or song maker AI and the beatbox and how they work and how we can quickly arrange a song by using some sound pool samples. So the music maker is free for everyone. It's always going to be free. It's always been for many, many years. 
And of course, if you want to upgrade, that's your choice. Let's compare all the different editions, the free one, the plus and the premium. And let's have a look sort of what sort of slots they have. The Music Maker free edition doesn't come any with sample. I believe it only comes with one sample, even though it's not listed there. And with the plus edition, you can select one for free and a collection for free, which is again, great bargain because here you can actually see how 49 and 19.99 is actually more than the price of the actual software. When in the premium, you'll get a lot more there as well. So we have updated user interface. We have the song maker in both the free and the plus edition. And we have song maker AI in the premium edition. Same with the Bitbox, we have Bitbox and Bitbox Pro in both Plus and the Premium Edition. And tutorials, they all exist in there. You are limited up to eight tracks as it has always been with the, uh, the Free Edition and unlimited for the other two. You get six effects and 64-bit multiple support as well, which did not exist previously in the Free Edition. That's really good. Of course, there are no VST supports in the Free Edition and or any VST bridge to use 32-bit VSTs, but as an added feature you can purchase for I believe 9.95 US dollars, you can add those features in. Same with more tracks, you can purchase those features later on, even at the free edition. With the free edition, you get the Grand LE, a concert piano, you get the sound pool, feel good for free, you get the Revolta, with 16 presets and the Vita 2. Of course, you can go ahead, go to the website and browse all the differences and you can make the decisions which one, which features you want and which edition to purchase. So without any further delay, let's jump into the software and let's have a look what changes has been since the last edition that I owned. When you run Magix for the first time, this is the new welcome screen, screen that you're gonna get. And here on your left, you have options to create new projects with some templates options as well, some demo projects to load, some tutorials to learn how to use Magic Music Maker, news about the latest editions of sound pools and discounts, as well as virtual instruments that you can purchase. And here we have our account option where we can log in and it will display which edition of Music Maker we own, etc. So I'm just gonna click continue. And here we see the new layout. Very similar, but a bit of change there for, for sure. Now we've got more menus up here. And I will say, okay. So that closes those things. The piano, okay, that's how we're getting it now. They used to be up here somewhere. I guess it makes a little bit more sense. Yep, and then you've got the loops. Oh, perfect. Yeah, that makes more sense. So it improved quite a bit there. So we've got our tracks over here and all the tracks and the bits we can actually drag our sound pools from. Let's open the sound pool. And these are all my sound pools from my previous editions. I'm saying new, but basically it's what I always had. And then we've got um, VST instruments. Here we go, these are all the VST instruments. Some I have, some I don't. And because I already have the VST third party add-on feature, that means I can actually see all my other VST instruments here as well. Those are them. And then we have the file manager, that means it's just all my files. And then we've got the shopping bag, which tells us about the store, which is, yep. Yeah, and this is where we can download the sound pools. Yep. And then we've got the VST instruments. There's all the VST instruments that you can purchase directly within Music Maker. Then we have presets. Never bothered with presets. I guess they are for the VST instruments. And then features. This is something that you might want to have a look at. Oh, what do you know? You got Frontier from uh, D16. Is it? Yeah, D16 group. 
for zero dollars. Well, you can actually purchase this. Available for free. This is a fantastic compressor that you can use. So there you go. So third-party VST instrument, without any third-party options, I guess? We'll find out. And here is where I was mentioning about the add-on features. I would recommend if you're deciding just to get the free edition, but get the um, more tracks, VST support, VST support, so that one there, multi-core support. It's really useful, at least these two anyway. So $20 uh, or 20 euros in this case, showing me euros, is probably what you can do. And you've got everything that you need to create your song. And then we've got additions, which is something new. I guess you can buy different edition, EDM edition, trap edition. These are the same thing, except uh, you get sound pools that relate to that type of edition of uh, the software. And subscriptions, I guess the unlimited loops for 19.99 euros. Anyway, so that's all of those. And then downloads. Here you list all the downloads of your sound pools. And here we have Beatbox. We're going to have a, a quick look at that one. And then we've got the Song Maker, which has some limited functionality where we can select the sample, but we cannot select what instruments and what song parts to create the song from. That is something we're going to look at, whether that's useful or not. And then we have a keyboard section where you can use our mouse to create MIDI notes for our virtual instruments. It's a great arpeggiator as well that we can actually use. Very, very easy and simple to use on screen keyboard. Then we have our mixer. Used to be separate, now it's built in right underneath. So that's a great uh, advancement. And effects. Well, these are all the effects for the objects. So each object that you've got or the track uh, object that you've got, you can apply effects per object. And the effects here are for effects for the track that applies to the all of the loops within that track. And what's this one here? Templates. Oh, here we go. Some audio effects templates. Uh, so easily allows you to create uh, some features, then you can drag and add. Even video effects, I didn't know it existed in here. I didn't think a Magic Music Maker supported videos, but I guess it does. Well, there you go. Something I never knew. And then uh, this is the Spectrum Visualizer. It's really great that we can use. What's this last one here is the MIDI Editor. It did not actually exist in... Uh, the free edition previously, I may be wrong, which is great. So we can edit our MIDI notes and the uh, just the mouse options there to move, automation, draw, sketch, replace. That's really good. And oh, here we go. That's sort of a grid snap. Well, this is really, really great. And to the fact that I can switch everything on and off, it's fantastic. Well, let's do the thing we came here to do is uh, the song AI. So it looks like there are templates and at the moment there's only two that you can select from and automatically highlights and recommends which sample will match those um, charts. More templates and functions in the store. So you can actually purchase more templates, which is okay. We've got the pop. Let's try charts fade out. Selected one of one. Obviously, if you have the premium edition, most likely you can select multiple sound pools and it will create from those multiple sound pools your song and the BPM matching. Here it tells you how the different sound pools are faster and slower in beats per minute, the tempo. Of course, you can use any of the other ones, but let's try with the uh, recommended ones. Now, it says seven instruments, 12 song parts, 300, oh, three minutes and four seconds. Now, obviously, being the free version, we cannot purchase, and it's just going straight to the um, shop there. Let's give it a try. I mean, it does have limit of eight tracks, so seven instruments, so that should be sufficient to create it. And let's see what we get.
create song and there we go okay but this is what it did it created a song for us shall we listen yes why not let's press play that's the intro okay Fast forward. Okay, well, that's uh, sort of just a bunch of loops put together. I guess they match by key and, um, you know, chorus A and B. It's sort of changing it. A little bit of uh, AI, but not much. <laughs> but... As a background music, if you wanted to create background music for your videos, whether it's your family videos or for YouTube, I guess, to a certain degree, this will give you a great start. And you can always, uh, you know, change it. There's nothing stopping you by uh, not uh, changing this. Let's say if I want control, here we go. So if I want bass, then I can move that there. And so I've got bass right from the beginning. Okay, let's do one more time to see if it's going to get any better. I'm just going to deselect that one. And let's go something country. There we go. Let's select country. Minus 25 BPM. So I might have to make that 100 BPM afterwards. So six instruments. Let's create it and see how much difference we're going to hear. No, don't save. Okay, let's uh, change this to um, 100 BPM to match to match the tempo of our sound pool. You don't have to because it will time stretch all of those um, loops for it. And let's have a listen. Pretty empty beginning, but I guess that's because of the template we use. Mm-hmm. Okay, what I can actually see that it's virtually the same layout basses, you know, coming about uh, into the choruses only. There's no bass in the other place. So that's from the template that uh, it's creating. So it's really not that sort of intelligent because, I guess, limitation, we can't really select... Uh, how many, whether we want intro or verse 1A, 1B, and bridge. So, this is just putting everything in there. Please give me a sound. Show me your mouth. <laughs> yeah, that sounds a little bit odd. I'm just sort of wondering if we do a final one and choose a different template to see if that's going to make any uh, difference. Let's try RNB. Okay, and that's minus 15 uh, BPM for original. No, we don't want to save and see how that goes. I hope you guys are uh, enjoying this because uh, this is the first time I'm using you watching me use for the first time. Of course, I have not read any of the documentation. Um, it's just uh, because of uh, the number of years I've been using Music Maker as a creative tool. Okay, so that definitely looks uh, different. I guess that's because of the template. It's much more instrument, much more fuller. Let's find out how that sounds. This might give us some inspiration for a song that we're looking. Turn this down. Let's move to the pre chorus. Yeah. 
Okay, I'm going to stop it there because for me, it's not as good as it, um, I was expecting. Because in previous editions uh, uh, of the premium one, I had more control what to select and what key to select the songs as well. So it's obviously this limited edition with the limitation of what instrument you want. You, a lot of times you don't really need eight instruments in there as well and all the different song parts not being able to select, it's just creating some random gibberish. <laughs> but again, it could be a starting point for you that you can use the song maker to get your ideas up and going and get started. Okay, enough of the song maker. Let's have a look at the beatbox. Yeah, let's just start a new one. Okay, beatbox. Where's my beatbox? Okay, uh, song maker, no? Or did they disappear? I can't see them. Not on my screen. No. What about here? No? Okay, there's a problem. I can't find it. Normally, F4 will reset the screen. That's what I'm going to press. Okay, I still don't have it. Something's not right. Um, yeah, it's sort of extended below the screen and now it's not visible. I'm going to press F4 again. No, it's not resetting. Okay, magic, you have a problem here. Um, this is something I haven't experienced before. Well, not, not with this edition, because it's a new install. Okay, I'm going to try to... Uh, I wonder if it's resizing is the problem. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Oh. Well, it was resizing the problem. So, there it is, some resizing issue magic that you have to look at and fix. I will report this to you, to your um, support team. Hopefully, they can watch this part and find out. I'm just going to try that again. New. No, it's all working this time. So if I turn everything off, like I had before, and create a new one, okay, because we didn't even have the transport back then. I wonder what happened there, and I had to maximize or minimize to find it. Okay, back to what we are here for, the beatbox. Now, again, it, I'm just going to go without reading the manual and see what we can work out. And obviously, these are the bits. So, kicks, four bars long. Uh, can we change? Um, no, that's different types of it. Initialize, I guess. Yeah, different types. What's... Ah, and that, that creates the loop. Okay, good. Gotcha, gotcha. Let's have a listen. That's an 808. Real good. Okay, the different types of drums. Minimal. And this one. what they are and just putting them in there so, so you can see yeah, that's how you can actually create your bit and they're all different types of them and once you're happy to your track and let's play the track and there you go you've got the loop so you can use the beatbox to create your beat and then drag it into a loop, and now you got audio. That's how that works. Of course, I will assume that upgrading to Beatbox Pro will give you much more features and more options. But still, quite interesting. So that's Magic Music Maker 2022, the free edition. I did create something using the uh, Song Maker, and we're going to listen to that and explore, and this is going to be my outro.
There we go. That's our mixer. Let's add some effects. Reverb. some master effects there as well. We go well if this video was helpful make sure you give me the thumbs up if it was not then feel free to give me the thumbs down i don't mind either way don't forget to subscribe hit that bell and i'll catch you in the next video cheerio guys